The Oso landslide that came crashing down in March of 2014 is seared in the collective conscience of the Pacific Northwest. The loss of life, devastation of public infrastructure, and impact to the community on every level shook not only the ground in Oso, but every community across the state. Well, I think the, the tragic loss of life and property from the Oso landslide was really a wake-up call. The state of Washington and Puget Sound in particular are quite prone to earthquakes, landslides, and severe erosion. Fortunately, in Kirkland, we haven't had a major event, but we're trying to make sure we understand the risks associated with those occurrences. Since the 1970s, the city of Kirkland has evaluated landslide hazards through the city's mapping or geographic information system. In the early 1990s, the city worked with King County and geologists on steep slopes, soils, and groundwater conditions. They analyzed the data and put it into maps according to high risk and medium risk categories. Well, these maps are used by uh, engineers, by planners, uh, by the public to better understand the risk associated with landslides or earthquakes. Uh, when we look at a development proposal, for example, we try to identify uh, mitigation strategies or construction techniques to uh, either avoid or minimize those risks. In 2001, a mapping was enhanced using a light detection and ranging system referred to as LIDAR. LIDAR is like radar, except it uses lasers instead of radio waves, firing off bursts of light in quick succession to collect precise distance measurements in order to produce a three-dimensional map. The last 15 years have seen rapid improvement in LIDAR technology. The new LIDAR, we're so excited to have it because it's, it's eight times better. We have eight times the resolution that we had than we had back in the early 2000s. Geologists love to have LIDAR. It's it's amazing way to look at the ground surface. It gives us good resolution of the shape of the ground surface. GIS and LIDAR together provided good visual indications of landslide risk. However, maps cannot predict landslides. The Kirkland City Council provided funding to create state-of-the-art geological hazard maps and data for the entire city. So the City Council recognized the need to have uh, state-of-the-art, best available science, and to that end they funded uh, our effort to undertake this complete evaluation of our geologic conditions and our mapping effort in order to come up with better development standards and uh, risk assessment. City staff is now working with Kathy Troost and her colleagues at the University of Washington's Department of Earth and Space Sciences, GeoMap Northwest Center, to expand previous information. So our team of scientists from the University of Washington uh, are working very closely with several departments, public works, building, emergency management, uh, looking at soil boring data, looking at groundwater data, and uh, uh, certainly landslide activity to determine the best approach to uh, recommend uh, future standards or development practices uh, when, when they completed their work. There are several products that will come out of the collaboration with the GeoMap Northwest Center. The first will be to expand the 2010 geologic map to include annexed areas. From this map, we can then create uh, earthquake hazard maps infiltration potential maps and we have the base knowledge using this geologic map to make these other maps. We'll be doing that in a couple of ways. One is by looking at this LIDAR map and simply outlining things as we see them on the map and then the other is by uh, finding anecdotal information. This summer, Kathy Troost from GeoMap Northwest has been in the field in Kirkland looking at excavation points, focusing mostly on the areas of the city annexed in 2011. She and her team have uncovered several thick sand layers, but the part that has them excited the most is groundwater. So as part of our geologic mapping, we like to see deep excavations because it gives us a window into the subsurface. Not only can we see what the material looks like up close and feel it and describe it, but we can also see where water is coming out of it, so it tells us something as well about where the water table is in this area. It's been a uh, exciting effort. We've been working on this for several months, and I think it's a great opportunity for the city to be on the leading edge uh, on this mapping effort and really implement some of the recommendations that came out of the commission on the 530 um, uh, Oso landslide that the governor appointed. But also we need help from the community. Uh, we're asking for anyone with uh, previous knowledge of landslides or other hazards to contact the city. We have a very simple online survey for people to fill out if they're interested in participating. 
More information can be found at the website on your screen. We intend to have our mapping completed by early 2017. Uh, with that information in hand, we will then be making recommendations to the Planning Commission and City Council.